Good morning and welcome to a wet and comfortable Tuesday. It is still comfortable because the debate on President Jacob Zuma's State of the Nation address only starts at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And I think most newspapers and media houses decided to try and get something else on the front pages because tomorrow I suspect we will be back in Parliament on our front pages. The star leading with a magistrate in a 500,000 rand bribe claim and it says that a Kretscher witness tells the court how extradition case could just disappear. Then on the front page of the Business Day, a worrying story. Telcom raises the spectre of job cuts, outsource plans to affect 10,000 workers. Then at the Pretoria News, a very, very disturbing story that they're leading with. A baby used to batter her mom. And this is after that uh, incident in Pretoria West earlier this week where a man and a woman had a paternity fight about the baby and then the man allegedly took the baby by the feet and hit the mom with the baby. He is going to be in court today. Then the Sowetan also a disturbing story. A dad kills a baby over a mini skirt. And then on the front page of the Times, salary muggers under the cosh. Now, this is a very interesting story. This relates to a group of workers in Cape Town. They're going to the Cape Town High Court against micro lenders who uh, put up to 50% garnishing orders on their monthly salaries. And they want this to change. And if they win, it could have a great impact on the micro lending business in South Africa. So that's it for now. Tomorrow, I'm sure we will be reflecting on the happenings and going on in Parliament and that Sona State of the Nation address. Also, media houses and the Right to Know campaign going to court today about the cell phone jamming. And we'll have an update for you then. For more on our news, you can go to jacarandafm.com.